welcome, welcome everyone to episode two of Longhorn Late Night. We have a great show for you tonight. Uh, but first, we have stand up with us tonight. I'm bringing on a dear friend to the show and a dear friend of mine. Here with us is Dakota Jackson. Oh, thank you. I love you too, Random Shadow over there. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, my name's Dakota, D-A-K-O-T-A. -A. a lot of people tell me they like my name, and I go, thanks, I got it on sale. <laughs> um, you know, does anybody remember that big Josh battle that happened last year where all the Joshes in the area got together and they duked out for supremacy using pool noodles? Yeah. What a time to be alive, folks. What a time to be alive. April 24th is the anniversary of that event, and honestly, I think everybody should do it. It's like once a year, all the Andrews and Jasons just get together and they have a little potluck, like a family reunion, you know what I mean? Although, I do got to point out that there are a lot more people with certain names than others. I mean, there's like a million Emilys, there's a dozen Dylans, and there are a lot of Bradens. Some might even say, too many. <laughs> um, but for Dakotas, you know, there really aren't that many of us. We're kind of a rare breed, and honestly, I kind of like that way. A uh, joke I hear all the time is, are you North Dakota or South Dakota? And I just say, I'm the last Dakota. <laughs> so tell the others I am coming for them. <laughs> um, no, it's a pretty cool team. Um, when I, so when I first came here, I was a journalism major, um, but then I realized that I didn't really want to get shot when I was older, so, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I lived in Texas my whole life. You think you'd be used to it by now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I moved to film, and it's honestly the best decision I've ever made in my life. Now I only have to worry about being shot by a camera and Alec Baldwin. <laughs> uh, too soon. Yeah. I really like going to UT. The vibes here are amazing. There is one problem about UT, and I think you can all agree me, is that they do not have enough black students. Woo! Yeah, woo, come on, not out. Come on, we need more. Only 4% of our student body is black, and I think that is so wrong. Like, we need more black students on this campus. It is, if it is a matter of occupancy, well, let me tell you something, Mr. J. Hurt, so a lot of these white folks will be just as happy at A&M, okay? <laughs> okay. I work at a, um, oh, and speaking of which, it's uh, International Women's History Month. Congrat great job. <laughs> great job, yeah, women. <laughs> Um, last month was Black History Month, so it must be a great time. Great time for you black women. Yeah, you get to go straight from everybody talking about the accomplishments of black men straight to everybody talking about how sexy and empowered white women are. You know, seriously, the whiplash you guys get. Um, you black lesbians, y'all y'all get a little bit different. Y'all get the hot month of June. That's when us white gay men get to throw on some glitter and talk about how oppressed we are. And that, my friends, is called the circle of privilege. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I work at a hotel. I was a little Holiday Inn, but now I got booted up to a big old Best Western Plus, and oh, we sure, thank you, we sure have a lot of colorful characters. Uh, I remember one time a guy came in wanting to pay for Tylenol, and I was like, dude, just take the Tylenol, because I believe in free health care, right? And he's this big, burly, white dude, and he's like, thanks, man. Uh, I left my Colorado medicine at home. And I was like, mm, I know what you mean, man, I know what you mean. I took a tolerance break the entire month of February just to clean my head, you know. But, as, but when March came around, I was making a doctor's appointment and checking in. I made myself a pleasant little blueberry banana peanut butter smoothie, swayed my wary self on the couch, and then watched Snow White because I was going to be a high hoo. Hi -hoo. Okay. <laughs> uh, one of the fun, one of the funnest parts about working at a hotel is uh, definitely the people. I have a great team. Um, we have a bunch of housekeepers who are teaching me Spanish, which is really cool. Um, they taught me a new word. It means a uh, bolillo. Yeah. Anybody know what a bolillo is? Nobody. It means white person, like really, really white. Yeah, he got it. <laughs> it means really. Like, basically, it means bread, and I think that's so great because if I was any more white, I'd be in bread. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, everyone, I believe that's my time. Yeah. Do you have more, or do you want me to go more, or am I done? Can I feel? Yeah. Okay. Thank you.